Welcome to this um, shortwave radio channel. And there was a interesting question um, and comment that I saw today. And we don't really talk about it much in the radio side of things. Uh, but definitely one of the interesting aspects of upcoming AI or artificial intelligence will um, be, of course, in the radio field because there will be a lot of things that it can do. And I'll take the example of that Beatles song that they released where AI was capable of doing what we weren't capable of doing for ages, which is remove key noise and key um, you know, disturbances that you don't want in the audio in order to have a clean output of a track. So imagine using that, but applying it to our radios. Already we have radios. A lot of you have been using, um, for example, the, this little receiver here, the mile height and the clones. And I've shown you some of the, um, some of the aspects of this, how um, basically the, the radio's digital noise reduction is so amazing on some signals. I've the same thing happening here with my Yesu. My Yesu has a digital digital noise reduction, but these are kind of software, uh, more of a software type of algorithm that um, identifies noise as something specific, and then you know kind of tries to reduce that around a signal you're listening to. So it's not AI and working. It's more of a key pattern that is applied to remove a specific type of pattern that it knows and identifies as noise. And as such, it also has its limits where a lot of signals can't really get very clean. So, of course, one of the things you might think is AI could maybe do better. And yes, it could. So think about the future, a future radio that is based on artificial intelligence, uh, maybe neural processing chips in it. Um, these types of devices that are getting on the market right now, these are the first generations basically of portable SDRs and, and even the DSP type radios we have. They're very, very, you know, they're almost computer based now. So imagine if you have a artificial intelligence processing capability. That means not only is it not, it's not just, um, using, you know, an algorithm for a pattern, it's actually capable on itself of identifying what's the offending signals and by itself using tools, electronic tools, to defeat that and remove all the offending signal noise around it and keeping just what you want. An example of very advanced processing being used right now is the Voyager spacecraft. The Voyager spacecraft are so far away that the five watt signal off of the antenna over there is here so weak that it requires, first of all, a huge array of uh, radio telescopes, but it also needs a lot of processing. And AI will help tremendously in there because it'll be able to just, you will, you know, you will tell it, this is what I am trying to listen to. And anything around it that you don't agree with, well, you can just remove because it's probably offending noise and signals. So AI for radio might actually be at its best, even a savior of our hobby in a way, because it could be good enough and advanced enough to counterbalance the noise levels we have. It might take a signal in that noise, which, you know, I say it all the time, the signals are there, but they're washed out in the noise. They're still there. AI could technically remove the noise and just keep the signal, which would be kind of great for radio receivers. So AI in the radio fields and amateur radio fields, I think there's a future there that could help us tremendously in our hobby. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.